Recently, I uploaded a video stating the reason why I believe it's a waste of time debating with a flat earth believer. And I'm gonna show you a clip of a video. I'll leave you the video link below of this uh, telephone call um, between a um, panel running a, a radio station or something. I don't know what they were doing with a guy, uh, guy who's obviously a flat earth believer. And he has proved everything I said in the video that I recently up. He proved it. He, he couldn't have done a better job. He just proved every single point I made in my previous video, right? I'll just give you a, a little clip um, of, of this video and I'll leave you the link so you can watch the whole, whole thing yourself. And I'll include a link of the video that I also uh, uploaded recently as well. Okay, so as I say, members of the jury, I rest my case. Will actually damage satellites, like you said. Satellites do get damaged. I mean, there there are satellites that get damaged, and we have to send up other satellites to repair them. Um, you <laughs> know, so that's ridiculous. How can you believe this? It's just, it's, it's, it's <laughs> I, I believe it because I, I'm, I'm studying right it, yeah, and I know the science behind it. Religion. And because Victor, your religion, Victor. EJ is not appealing to personal incredulity, but wants to actually learn the thing. Uh, he, but, but uh, EJ is, like, EJ is not saying, like, hold on, EJ is not saying, I can't understand it, therefore it's not true. And up until this I'm point, not that, that is, that does sound pretty much like what you're saying. So... No, I'm, I'm saying that there's, it's impossible. There's no way that these can... Like, listen, as you were saying, the things that you believe, see, the things with... with like, well, uh, the difference, the difference here the is that it's not something that I believe. Saying, it's something that I know to be true. When you're actually explaining these things to someone like me, and then you start realizing how ridiculous this is, you start laughing because you you just said, "Oh well, what the, the I'm actually laughing at what you're saying, we have but to send them yeah, like to fix them. It's absolutely this is science fiction. <laughs> this is not true. Okay, how, 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 can, how can you have a satellite up there and then it gets hit by something and then you send up another satellite going 17,500 miles an hour to go and fix it? Come on, what are you joking? Because we can calculate the the necessary thrust that you need to get it into the atmosphere. You can calculate the amount of fuel that you need to produce the thrust to get into the orbit that you need. Like, I, I know I could sit here and calculate, okay, this is the velocity that I need to be in this exact orbit, and this is the velocity that I'll need to have in order to catch up to this particular satellite. I mean, there's entire fields dedicated to how do I go from the orbit that I'm in to the orbit that I want to be in? How do I catch up to a spacecraft that I want to be, you know, next to? I, it's it's entire complex fields of orbital mechanics that you could take, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten classes on it and still, you know, have more to learn. And it's really fascinating because there's so much to learn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> Uh, the I, ISS I'm, has been up there for what twenty years. Never gets hit by anything. Uh, it absolutely does get hit by if, things. If, Space debris is a big if, issue. If, if the ISS gets hit by something, then the orbit of that of the object is no way you can correct the uh, orbit of of the ISS. That's yeah. right. pa patently untrue. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so. <laughs> that was untrue. So, because. Go ahead. <laughs> no, that's all right. Uh, uh, find evidence to back up your assertions. Um, Email it to us. Email it to us, Victor. Refute what you believe. Whoa! You're so quick. Well, yeah, there is evidence. You're just not willing to look it up. Yeah, I and mean. We're... Oh, just one more thing before I go. Now, if you don't understand how something works, okay, I'm not being patronised. I, I promise you, I'm not. If you don't understand how something works, don't make the typical um, mistake of just assuming it can't work because you don't understand how it works. Take some time out, do some research, find out about what it is that's baffling you, be it. I mean, like I said before, all the questions you're gonna ask, see the stars that you can see, and then, and versa visa, the, the lunar eclipse of the Earth, it's, the list goes on and on and on. But they refuse to, to believe the evidence. So, that is why I've arrived at the conclusion, you're wasting your time, debate with them. That's it. So there, that, that's that's why I've arrived at my con my conclusions. I, I'm willing to look into whatever you're talking about. I'll, I'll give you a chance. I'll look into it. But if I see holes in it, I can't help it if I see holes in your theory. For me to believe your theory, it has to fit everything. You can't just show me one little bit of evidence 
that ignores all the other evidence and expect me to believe your whole theory based on one thing you've shown me and I've got to ignore everything else that doesn't fit with what you're showing me. And then you're going to say that I'm the one with no common sense. Well, there you go. There you go. Okay, thank you very much. And like I said in the other video, Flat Earthers, I'm not going to engage with you. I'm not going to respond to your comments. I, I, I couldn't give a shit how much questions you ask me. I couldn't give a fuck. As far as I'm concerned, you and the Ku Klux Klan are, are in the same boat. There you go. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, if you have the right to form a society such as the Flat Earth Society, well, I demand my rights and I want to form my society. And as the society that I'm going to um, found is going to be the Lords of the Rings Society. And this is how it works. If you're willing to join my Lords of the Ring Society, uh, if you're a woman who's very, very short, right, and willing to join my society, you could play the the part of a hobbit, female hobbit. Um, I'll play an org. I'll be like the villain, and I can pretend I'm ransacking your your little hobbit village, and I and I catch you, and I have my sexual ways with you. Or if you're a normal height woman, like five, you know. Five seven, five eight, five nine, or sort of thing, and obviously you're too short to play a hobbit. Well, you could be one of the the elves, you know, with the pointy ears. We, we could work something out what it is, you know. And again, um, I've ransacked your castle, and um, what you got? I've overpowered you, and and would you could? I'll have my sexual ways with you as well that way. You know, that 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 could work. So yes, yeah, plenty of room. There's plenty of room. You don't have to be a short woman to be. Um, in the Lord of the Rings um, society, there we are. So, if you if you want to join my Lord of the Rings society, just let me know. Just leave a link underneath, and um, we'll get this we'll get this ball rolling. We'll we'll show those flat earthers um, a real society, you know, because everything else is fake, of course. I mean, you know, um, these people, are, you know, you, you 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 do you know there's a government conspiracy that that. Um, this flat earth society really they're all secret agents really they're not they're not they're not they're not real it's not a real society it's a fake society and what it is it's divide and conquer see it see the government's div divide this thing so if we fight against each other they'll implement all these bad policies and we won't notice but see i'm smart i'm smart you see i i i know that this flat earth thing is it's, it's a fake government thing don't tell you about it. It's fake. It's all fake. And um, I know the government, the real government, is behind all of this. It's a big conspiracy. Shh. Big conspiracy. Right? And they want to take over the world by letting us argue amongst each other over these little petty things. But I know what's going on. I know what's going on. But don't worry. The Lords of the Ring Society will come and save the day. Especially um, if you're a woman willing to join the flat, uh, not the the Lord of the Ring Society. Okay, um, there we are. We we need we we need you. We need you in our our in our society. Thank you. Thank you.